Yo, so I'm not recording with my AirPods, so this audio is definitely going to be trash, and I might do a voiceover instead. But, hello. We're doing a makeup tutorial today because I wanted to film something, and this requires minimal effort, so that's what we're doing. To those people that aren't into makeup, thank you for not watching. <laughs> my skin right now is really kind of raw from Accutane. Like, the last couple of days, it just, like, it hurts to, like, put stuff on. But we're going to do on the face kind of like a light amount of makeup and first we're gonna moisturize I like using the CeraVe moisturizing cream I like pump out about this much you know it's bad when you put on moisturizer and your skin stings during this pandemic I've been wearing makeup probably once every like two out of three days because I like doing it when times are normal, I think makeup is fun. So it doesn't change my wanting to do it. And it kind of helps me feel like life is normal. So don't comment anything like, wait, you need makeup, you need to you Fuck you. Fuck off. I'm going to put my primer on. I talked about this in my spring favorites video. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I just like to do about like that much on my finger and concentrate it under my eyes. My nose, like kind of like in my T-zone. So now, while this sinks in. I'm gonna do my eyes. I don't have my contacts in. Basically, if you can see, I have really dark under eye circles right now because I have not been getting a lot of sleep. I fell asleep at like 3.34 a.m. last night. and Not last night, the night before. And then last night I fell asleep at 10.30 and didn't wake up until like 12.40. So I'm gonna be priming my eyes with the um, Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer from Makeup Revolution. I have the Real Techniques sponge. This is like a limited edition pink one for some reason. I think it's pink now, but I just kind of like to use a dry sponge to tap over the concealer. Depending on the kind of eye look, I do my face first a lot of the time because I don't really do intense eye looks for school or like during quarantine, but it's what we're going to do today. I really wish that ColourPop's palettes had mirrors because today we're going to be using the A Flutter palette from ColourPop. Looks like this. It's got a, not, a lot of nice warm colors and this purple. This is like my favorite color of purple. I just wish it had a mirror because it's annoying to have like be using this palette and then have to open the Tarte one to use it as a mirror. Like I have to keep switching. That's annoying. I would be willing to pay more ColourPop if you would just put in mirror, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So first we're going to be doing like a light wash on the crease. So I'm not even going to use a mirror for this. I'm going to be using the shade Transcend which is kind of like close to my skin color and I'm just gonna kind of use it to set down the crease area. Now I want to use the orange and the purple together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the crease a little bit more with this like kind of mauve peach color. It's like a weird mix called Satin Wings and I'm going to use the same brush. I am still using the ColourPop palette. I'm just picking up this Tarte one for the mirror and I'm gonna focus that mostly on the outer part of the eye then bring it in but it's mainly to define the outer part of the eye. I also have not plucked my brows in so long and then of course you gotta do the same thing. Well you don't have to if you wanted to do something else. I mean go ahead. I've kind of just been trying to do makeup quite a lot of days because it makes me happy. It makes things just seem a little bit more normal. Oh, can you see that piece of glitter that got in here? I don't know if you can tell. There's like a pressed glitter in that palette that's so irritating. There's two that sometimes fall into the actual eyeshadows, which is so annoying. I wish ColourPop would stop putting pressed glitters in their palettes. But okay, so now we're going to build up with this we're gonna get to this orange color so we're gonna take a little bit of crisscross still using the same brush Ooh, look how powdery that is, that is. Ooh, <laughs> same thing but this time I'm going a little bit more on the lid because we're gonna put purple on the lid and I want there to be like a nice base for it to go these colors look a lot more purple in the pan but then when you put them on the eye they're a lot more pinky peach Before we go in with that orange, we're going to start with that purple. So this is called Swallowtail. It's like the best color of purple. And I'm going to take another fluffy brush. 
my intention is to do like the outer corners purple the inner corners have coral like up here and then have like a shimmer on the lid and I'm trying to wing it out doesn't matter if it goes like too far down the eye because I'm doing my foundation second so you can con conceal that but yeah and I'm using less pressure the farther up I go I'm gonna dip back in and do even more concentration right on the outside kind of stamping it right there so I have a little bit left on my brush so we're gonna get started That stupid piece of glitter. Can you see? Yeah, there it is, right there. God, that pisses me off. It's gonna be there forever. Cool. All right, so now I've got a different fluffy brush. We're about to make this even more bright. So we've got, oh my God, that purple guy like everywhere. <sighs> We're gonna take this color called, ooh, do a similar thing, but I'm gonna keep it like right here. It's okay if you put it like, on your lid because I'm gonna use a shimmer later on but that's the goal I'm trying I'm not trying to put it on the lid if that makes sense and it doesn't matter if it's kind of blocky because we're gonna come back and blend it in right now I'm just trying to get the shape that I want because right now this is like intense block Colourpop has such good matte shades all right and so then with whatever left over after doing those parts. I'm just going to kind of like blend out the purple. We're going to go back in the purple, don't worry, and blend up so that this peachy coral color is at the end of the blend. The end of the blend, oh, I like that. So now we're going to go back with that original bl blush, brush. Get back into our purple. Make sure that if any of it got blended away, we bring it back. Because the purple, in my opinion, is the most important part of the look. All right, so then once you're happy with that, you're gonna take a big clean brush, nothing's on this, and then just kind of go crazy. Because then we're still bold, like we're going for, but we're not blocky. See, that's the difference. It's, you can wear bold eyeshadow, and usually it doesn't look as crazy as you're gonna expect if you just blend it out. You can get away with a lot more boldness in your eyeshadow than you originally thought. Okay, so here we are. We're almost done. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer here called Fly Away. This is the most beautiful shimmer in my opinion. I really like this. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and stamp it in the inner corner, the inner half of the lid in general. And I like to use my finger just because I feel like it picks up ColourPop shimmers a lot better. You just gotta make sure everything is blended. That's the key for today, is you wanna blend everything. We're gonna take some more of that coral and blend right there. We're gonna be light about it. And we're gonna take that purple and then blend this transition. This is the part where we're getting risky. I'm gonna do winged eyeliner. I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes when I do makeup, I'll go through like a weird phase where I suddenly can't do one type of makeup anymore and I'm pretty good at winged eyeliner but for some reason the last few weeks I just can't do it. The palette's called Flutter, you know what I mean? Like fly wings. So I'm gonna go off camera and try to do this. This is the Physicians Formula um, Eye Booster Waterproof Liquid Liner. I like this one because it's pretty black and has a brush tip. So I'm gonna go do this and when I come back we're gonna see what happened because I can never do eyeliner on camera so I'll be right back okay so the wing turned out really uneven can you see that I don't know why I don't know what's happening this is why I haven't been using winged eyeliner but it's a good thing I'm not going anywhere so it doesn't matter I swear I can usually do them see these pictures for proof I promise I can usually do winged eyeliner I don't know what's going on so now we're gonna do the face for foundation I'm gonna use the bourgeois healthy mix Serum. This isn't the serum foundation. This is just the anti-fatigue foundation. I got this when I was in England and it is my favorite foundation. So I'm just going to put like two pumps on the back of my hand. Kind of like um, a pretty low coverage foundation and it smells like fruit, which I like. 
Um, I'm probably honestly going to take this off right after I'm done filming this video because, as I said, my skin is like pretty raw from Accutane. I'm on my third month of that now. And this is a Morphe buffing brush, by the way. This is their M439. Foundation looks like really bad on my skin right now. Also, I'm kind of pissed about the winged eyeliner. I shouldn't have done it. I, sh I knew, I knew that doing it was going to be a mistake, but did I still do it? Yes. I think the sad thing is like my face is darker than the rest of my body. It matches like, not my arms, I have darker arms, but like my neck, it matches. You see, it's always a struggle. Like, do I go darker with my foundation to match my arm? Or do I match my neck and look really pale? So now for concealer, I'm going to use the same Makeup Revolution one. I have the shades C1 and C2. So C1 is going under the eyes. And then C2 conceals those blemishes that I'm on Accutane for. So I kind of just coat both my chin and my forehead with it. I have this bullet brush from Morphe. This is their M536. And I like that it can be pretty precise. So I kind of just do as follows under the eyes and I wiped off the edges of my eyeshadow with makeup remover but I'm just using the concealer also to clean that up a little bit more and I tend not to worry if the concealer gets a little bit smudgish because I actually picked up this tip from the Taylor or well, no she's Taylor Wynn now and she likes to go in with like a dry sponge to press things in and I do that too now so I'm going back in with that Morphe brush and just stippling on the blemish concealer. I don't like wearing full coverage foundation and this foundation that I'm using isn't full coverage but the concealer is. I'm not really a fan of full coverage anything to be honest. This is the same Real Techniques dry sponge um because I- oh, what is on this? Look what has happened! There's like hair- why was there hair? on that chair <gasps> no oh no oh this is taking a turn for the worst oh dear it's gonna like pick up my face create a big hole good thing i didn't powder jesus i feel like i got most of it okay so this sponge okay it's clean now so we're just gonna use that to press in the area that was just fucked up Yeah, and I like to just press this in because I think it helps, especially right now with my Accutane, at like correcting the parts where the foundation doesn't want to stick to my skin, at least temporarily. I mean, I'm not going to lie, my foundation recently, like the last couple days, kind of comes up anyway, which is gross, but yeah. Now, this is the time when I would normally powder, but my face is feeling really dry, so I'm not going to, but normally I would powder under my eyes on my face, chin, T-zone. So before we do eyebrows or the face, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the eyes. I take the brush we use for the coral bit without any additional product and just kind of like carelessly run that under the eyes. And again, it doesn't matter if it's really messy because my motto with makeup, what is happening? Where is this hair coming from? I'm so confused. Is just to kind of do whatever you want, fuck it up and then blend it out. <laughs> Now we're gonna take the same purple brush, kinda do like the same thing, but just like on the outer parts of the eyes. She looks crazy. Ooh. Same clean brush, just do, 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 do. And I don't mind dragging it lower down because with more intense looks like this, I kinda like the look of it being all around your eyes, but it's up to you. You can smudge it out closer to the eye if you want to. And now I have concealer. Well, that, I was gonna go try to fix that eyeliner anyway, so it doesn't matter. I kind of like the look of having crazy eye makeup like go all around the eyes. Okay, so I'm not gonna fix this eyeliner yet. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and I'm gonna do that off camera too, but I'm using the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil and Gel. These are both in dark brown. The ColourPop Brow Pencil, I like the color of it, but the spoolie eventually like breaks. So it's not my favorite brow pencil because of that, but I really do like the brow gel, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This eyebrow, I'm not gonna lie, looks kind of crappy. This one looks fine. I definitely 
need to pluck my eyebrows and I was gonna do that today but then I decided to record this makeup video instead so like I don't know before we do anything else we're gonna do some blush I swear this is not supposed to be like all Colourpop but I have the Colourpop blush sticks and then this is the shade mini me so it's kind of like this pink shade and I'm kind of just gonna I have glitter all over my hands oh I don't want more glitter on my face seriously Press glitters with fuck color pop. I hate it. I'm gonna try to wipe as much of that off as I can. So I'm gonna take the blush stick and then kind of like rub some of it off on my hand, like that. See, it's a very bright pink. And I'm gonna take my fingers. You could just wipe the whole stick on your face if you wanted to, but this is a very bright color and I don't want to look sick. But I do like the look of like a lot of blush, like right under the eyes. The whole e-girl nonsense pisses me off. So like, I was an emo kid. Emo kids were not considered cool. Like if you did all the shit that cute e-girls are doing now, got like made fun of. But now it's cute. There is a little bit of glitter on my face. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to do bronzer. This is the Sephora Bora Bora, 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 Bora bronzer. It's like this nice shade here. And I'm just going to... Dip this essence brush into it. I look very pink right now. <laughs> but it's okay, because this is spring, I'm bored, it doesn't matter. And I have a fix for when you do like a little bit too much blush, because right now it kind of looks like the eye makeup I have like is blending down to my cheeks, which is cool. I do like that look, but not really when my eye makeup is as bold as it is. And then for highlight, I've been loving this MAC highlight. I got this during the All the 21 Days Beauty Sale. This is the shade Double Gleam. I have my Eco Tools setting brush. And then my pinky. So before I go and fix this eyeliner um, or do mascara or anything, I'm going to take the same foundation brush and just like tap over my face with it without any additional product and that will help tone down any blush. Okay, I'm gonna go fix the eyeliner or try to um, and then we'll do mascara and lips and we're done. All right, I'm not sure how I was able to actually kind of fix that but it looks okay now. I definitely have done better eyeliner. See again, these pictures, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing setting spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus. I love this setting spray. Okay, so for mascara, my favorite mascara, um, second favorite, I actually like the Lancome Monsieur Big better. It's a Too Faced Better Than Sex. This one's almost near the end of its life, though. I usually don't try to do winged eyeliner that fucking massive, but... Now what we got left is a lips, and this again is another Colourpop thing. I'm really not trying to make this all Colourpop, but this is the Colourpop Echo Park Liquid Lip, and I'm gonna go do this in the mirror. I... Normally, I wouldn't wear my glasses with this kind of look, so that's why I'm not, like, showing you with glasses on, but I'm not wearing my contacts, so I'm gonna wear my glasses. As you can see, it's not quite as, like, impressive, I guess, with glasses on, so normally I wear looks like this when I'm wearing contacts, but I don't want to wear contacts today because my eyes were dying yesterday. Let me know if you decide to recreate this. I think it turned out okay. I mean, the eyeliner is still a little bit wonky because I didn't completely like retrace it as I should have. And there's still kind of like a gap in this one. But you know what? I promise I know how to do makeup. And if you want to see some pictures of the makeup that I've done, you can check out this Instagram right here. That is my makeup Instagram. I don't post on there very much, but like when I do a look that I'm proud of, it goes up there. I'm gonna go do homework now and maybe edit this video later so thank you so much for watching let me know if you want to see another makeup video and if you don't I'll probably do it anyway <laughs> bye also i think i kind of fixed the eyeliner and i think i kind of fixed this hole just so you know.